Okay, so I've seen people breaking the tech fast and I've seen them go slow. What makes the difference? Let's talk about it. So what I've actually found is for the people who actually move faster than the people who actually move, may move a little slower to land their first tech job, the quality that I see is that the person that moves faster, they master how to actually speak in transferable skills. They know how to actually retranslate their previous experience into their new found skill set. Now, being able to speak in your new perspective and the new perspective of your skill set, this allows you to quickly tell your story, show your experience, and display your ability to transfer transition from one market or one industry into another and to be able to articulate what you're actually going to bring to the table in this new industry. So next, what I found is the person landing the job faster than the next person is usually because they've actually taken some type of training, right? Like you could still do a boot camp or you can do some type of self-paced training, but some type of training in general versus just going on YouTube and just going somewhere that has, has no structure at all to take you from point A to point B. A lot of times when we're trying to do it ourselves, we're actually not taking a structured curriculum or process to take us from one state of life to another state of life. So the person who normally can move faster into breaking into tech or to any industry usually is having some type of structured curriculum or learning or inside of some type of program or boot camp. Next is all about applying your skill set. Most people who actually move faster, in some way they're doing some type of hands-on training, learning, experience, they're getting experience, they're in an internship, they're creating or doing projects. They're actually adding on experience and project experience or internship experience to actually be able to speak from a hands-on perspective of this newfound skill set so that they can confidently articulate how they actually understand and can perform the new roles and responsibilities being presented to them for the skill set. So having hands-on training and projects is definitely going to be a great way to progress and put you into the market faster for your new skill set. Next, usually a person has already looked at the market to see what jobs are asking for. See, many times you can have a skill set, but inside of that one skill set can be sub skill sets, right? And so with that, you wanna make sure you're focused on the right skill sets and, and current sub skill sets that's in the market. If you are going online and you're marketing yourself with your resume with a skill set that the market is no longer using, well, that's probably why you're not getting your phone to ring. But when you actually can look at the market, look at Dice, look at Indeed, look at LinkedIn and see what the market is asking for in their job descriptions. That's what you want to focus on speaking to in your resume and being able to speak to in an interview. Now, this is my favorite. Number five, the person who normally goes faster than the next person into getting into the market and breaking into tech or any industry over the next person, they more than likely built more recruiter relationships. They put in their resume out there. Even if they didn't have current positions for them at the time, they followed up a few weeks or a week later to see if they had something new, always staying fresh. You see, you have to remember, you can put your resume in today for something and maybe they don't have anything and then tomorrow they get something, but within 24 hours, they have a hundred more applicants that are actually competitors against you. And now you're like 100 or number 200 behind the line. So they don't even see your resume anymore. So you have to go about the right efforts to not only applying for jobs, but following up and staying in front of them. So there you have it. If you want to land a job fast and transition into any industry, here are five things just recapping that you need to do. One, be able to speak to a perspective of that newfound skill set. Two, jump into some type of structured curriculum or learning or training program. Three, apply your skill set and knowledge with hands-on projects and experience. Four, look at what the market is actually saying in the job searches. And five, build those relationships with recruiters, follow up and keep your resume in front of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. And if you're already not following me on Instagram, please be sure to follow me at I am Jennifer Geddes on Instagram, where I share behind the day to day tips, tricks, tools, and my life as a software tester and working remote and creating a business online. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video.